When designing an airtight building envelope, there are two important aspects to consider and plan for. Ventilation and insulation. Hi, my name is Simon and I'm one of the regional managers at Proclimer based in Auckland. In the last Mindtello episode, we discussed ventilation. Make sure to check it out if you haven't already. The link is in the description below. But now, let's take a closer look at insulation. Insulation in your home provides resistance to heat flow and lowers your heating and cooling costs. Properly insulating your home not only reduces the heating and cooling costs, but also improves comfort. To understand how insulation works, it helps to understand heat flow. We all know hot moves towards cold or high pressure moves towards low pressure. The same thing happens in your house. This means that in winter, heat flows directly from all the heated living spaces inside your house to the adjacent unheated spaces like attics, garages, and towards the outdoors. This is reversed during the summer. During the cooling season, heat flows from the outdoors to the interior of the house. An insulating material's resistance to conductive heat flow is measured or rated in terms of its thermal resistance or R value. The higher the R value, the greater the insulating effectiveness. The R value depends on the type of insulation, its thickness and its density. The effectiveness of an insulation material's resistance to heat flow also depends on how and where the insulation is installed and how airtight the building is. Air tightness layers, such as Proclimers and Tello, can assist the insulation to perform to its performance value. The overall R value of a wall or ceiling will be somewhat different to the R value of the insulation itself because heat flows more regularly through studs, joists and other building materials in a phenomenon known as thermal bridging. In a nutshell, insulation doesn't perform to its performance value unless installed in a trapped cavity. When air movement is introduced, fibrous insulation's performance is somewhat reduced. You may have experienced this yourself when wearing a woolen jersey on a windy day. When the wind is blowing, that is air is moving, you soon feel the cold as the insulation of your jersey is no longer performing due to the wind moving through the fibers of your jersey. Once a windbreaker or an air tightness layer is introduced, this insulation can now perform. One thing you must always remember is that moisture goes where heat flows. Using an intelligent air tightness and vapor control layer, such as Intello, prevents structural moisture damage by ensuring moisture does not build up in the insulation layer. We'll go into more detail about how Intello achieves this in a future episode. We will show you how to specify the Intello Intelligent Air Tightness System in the next My Intello episode. In the meantime, if you would like us to help and support you with any of your projects, please feel free to contact us. Our team is across New Zealand and we all look forward to hearing from you. The details are in the description below. Below you'll also find all the details on how to join the ProClimber newsletter. We only send the newsletter when there's information worth your valuable time. So don't worry, we won't spam you. Jump on the link and subscribe today. Thanks for joining us. And until then, insulate, ventilate, airtight, sorted.